So you see that sock over there? I want to get that before we continue on with the level. But you might be wondering, how do you get that sock from here to over there? Well, it's simple. You gotta go over here, get the watermelon, throw it at the button, and then you gotta jump on the towels, and then rinse and repeat. And it gets a little harder each time you go on. Like, see here, they're actually moving this time instead of just standing there. They don't act like trampolines, so you can't just jump on them and make life easy. And now they're gonna start spinning! As if that makes this whole thing a little harder. But we're almost there! One more button. But now, we have 20 seconds. And now they're gonna do... This. Do each one. And now we gotta wait for this to come over. And just like that, we got the sock. Toronto. And then we gotta throw it on the kit. Okay, I guess that works too. Now, unfortunately, Patrick can't attack w when, with the X button when he's jumping in the air, but he can do the ground pound like SpongeBob. And not only does it destroy small robots, but it also stuns the larger ones. Hmm, hang on, I gotta go get SpongeBob for this one. So yeah, each character, like, as I mentioned in the previous episode, they have their strengths and weaknesses, and what I also don't mention is that some of them don't have the same moveset as others. Like, see here, SpongeBob can attack with the X button when he's jumping, while it's Pat same with Sandy, but Patrick can't. But anyways, let's go to the juice bar. And why is Mrs. Puff here? Oh no. The children's balloons have been overfilled. They're carrying the children out of control. Jeez. Where did they even get the balloons? I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Sounds like it, too. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. And the problem is with that? You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Alright. Can do, Mrs. Puff. Why was there no, like, space after the misses? Anyways. As she said, you gotta push the Y button for the bubble bash to get the balloons popped. Now this one's gonna be a little tricky because this one's moving. And then you gotta be standing on these platforms in order to actually hit the balloons. I think right here is a good start. And, hey, the kid landed on the little platform. Good. Now we got these robots. Okay, weird camera angle. Weird camera angle. Okay. That, that was weird. That, that really, that never happened to me before. So where's this kid gonna go? Oh, oh, okay. Gotta, gotta get the thing back. <sighs> Alright, go, 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 Alright, we got that one. Now we can go over here. No, not you! Get out of here! And now we got this shiny. And now we got a little sock over there. Let's go get that. The super mega combo. Let's uh, we can ignore that glove for now. This is a weird thing. There you go. And then these three stone tiki's they may look out of place. They really aren't because you gotta throw them over here with Patrick, which I'll do later on. Neither can Patrick. But Sandy can. Hence why you can't play as Sandy in any level with goo. For the sake of balance. Okay. I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay. Alright, kid. You had your fun. Get. Are you gonna go to that one? Yeah, you are. Come on, kid. Kid. Kid! You're having too much fun. According to Mrs. Puff. Kid! Get over here! 
yeah, now we're gonna get into the uh, tricky, tricky ones. And there you go, you're having fun. The good thing about uh, SpongeBob doing his attack in the air is that you can actually give yourself a little extra air time. All right, kid. That, well, that was stupidly easy. <laughs> Let's head back to Mrs. Puff. What's our reward? My hero, you've saved the children. <laughs> Here's a golden spatula as a reward. Thank goodness the children are safe. Okay. You'll be fine. How? Okay, probably because I got game ended earlier. <laughs> mm, nah, let's just continue on with the normal level. Uh, need 2200. I got plenty. Let's do it. We gotta get the stone tiki's. Throw them at this wall. And then we gotta... I think you only really need two to reach. Yeah, you can just reach it with two. And then we gotta pay this clam 2200 shinies. And now we have a button to push for an extra golden spatula. And now we have to jump on these trampolines. Hey, well, thankfully, um, we don't have to spend any more shiny objects to get the unlockable thing, so... Yeah, we want to stay away from the fire-breathing dragons underwater. And now we gotta time this right. Pat, you can't really do your uh, X attack with Patrick to save your butt from the goo. And these flo floaties won't bounce because they're platforms. And there we go. What? It's a quick, like, TP over here. Very weird that half the time the controller doesn't even vibrate when you do the, uh, switch character bus thing. Alright, and now we have to jump on the, this guy. The way to tell if they're about to breathe fire is if the fire smoke is bigger than this. Here, I'll show it. There we go, yeah, that's that's how you can tell. Oh, there's Bubble Buddy, but I won't talk to him yet. Here we have the Sandcastle Contest. One's an actual castle, one is an Atari controller. That's kind of an indie detail. And then we have a mermaid. Let's move on to get to the, um, there's a, I think a sock up there, so let's go get it before this blows up. Mega combo. There we go. SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Well, I am. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. Well, let's. I mean, that's not really the top top, but okay. I had a castle. I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Very specific. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sand castle, right? That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. Yeah, that's a big sand castle. Who had the time to make this? ginormic thing. Okay. 
Dang it, I wanted to have Spongebob not look at the explosion to be cool, but... That backfired and had the explosion hurt me. And now we have Goo dropping there. Now it's slowly rising. Hold on, I'm not gonna leave any shiny object behind. Okay. You can actually just skip a bit of this by just doing this. And that's a hint that you can bring Patrick over here for to freeze the goo. For I think that that sock there. And then we have this sneaky little punk that's trying to ruin our day. But thankfully, I know how to time things. Most of the time. Now we have a punk like MLG shooting cannon over here. Great. And a monsoon. Get out of here. Get out of here. What do you think you're doing being on top of here? Get out of here. This, these, these enemy placements and these cannons are just trying to really ruin our day. You're gone. And as for you... No. Eh. No, you you get to live. Nah, just kidding. All right, now we just gotta get this guy game ended, and there we go. And now we have an, a cave to walk through. It looks like where those thunder tiki's are in stone. But we have some platforms here. Wonder where this leads us to. Ooh, an extra sock with some tiki's for extra shiny objects. But there's also this thing. Let's see if I can do it. Dang it! Oh well. I'll grab Patrick later. Come on. Thank you. Well, thankfully, it puts me here. Get out of here. I'm, 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 I, I'm gonna do it. I am going to do it. But first... I am stubborn. There we go. We got the sock. That was a nice uh, little Terminator joke he did. They call me the Spongeinator. There we go, that's the... There we go. Now to the Goo Lagoon Sea Caves. Hello Gary, what's new? Ow! You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater? Oh, he's so crazy! And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave! Wow! There's a golden spatula at the end of this cave? Thanks, Gary! Wow! Hey, and now we have a, a drawing, a cave drawing of Cave Patrick. There's gonna be a lot of references to references to old uh, episodes of SpongeBob in this in this game. Now pushing that button is gonna give us an extra platform. And there's that golden spatula and an extra platform. But, you remember, there's a... Whoo, that was close. But yeah, there's an extra... Hey, by extra, I mean very well-hidden sock that you have to actually look around for. Like that one sock hidden in uh, Jellyfish Fields in the cave. Um, gutsy. Ooh, I barely got away with that. I would continue on, but we don't have a platform over there, so we have to go right. And now we gotta dodge the puffer fish ball. And another one. And now, we go over here, see more cave drawings of cave... Actually, cave Spongebob jellyfishing. Now this is well made for... 
a combo of explosions. And then they found a sock. Nope. I don't know why there is a watermelon here, but I guess the game thought we were going to use Patrick to get up here, but we can just do it with Spongebob. It's a bit easier on the platform. Ow! No! No! No? Okay, good. I thought I was about to actually get game-ended by that. Take it. Push the button. Thank you. Go away. Got a checkpoint. Go away. Get out of here. Another checkpoint. Wow, that's not that far away. <laughs> we have the belt bot and hammer. Yeah, that, that, that's gonna be the new... The Wait. Th there was like no texture of the wood plank on that. Hold on. Go back. Look! There's like no... Wait, it's there. But not, but not there when I'm standing on it. Wait. I know my copy's old, but sheesh. Is it, how old is this thing? Like, the game came out in like 2004, right? Or 2003? So this game must be like 17 years old. But when I open the game and start a new file... Hold on, let me show you something. It says November 22nd, 2005. Weird. Why does it like just stop with 2005 on the year? And on November 22nd? Hmm. Oh well, what matters is that we have a golden spatula, and then there's a freeze ice thing for Patrick to throw, because I believe there's a hidden socket around here, which we can easily grab later on, and a teleport box. The Goo Lagoon Pier. So I, uh... Sti Ferris wheel. I, s I almost said steering wheel. <laughs> and there's Mr. Krabs. And some guy. SpongeBob, help me find Patrick. I have a task that I think he can help me with. Why can't I do it? I mean, I can do this, do this, do this. And that's it so far. Fine. Sorry, lad, but the carnival is closed. Dang it! The pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. What does a robot need with money? If you help me get rid of that no-good robot, I'll give you a big reward. Okay. Get rid of the robot in the ticket booth and I'll give you a reward. Hold on, I gotta go get that uh, sock. It's gonna bug me for the rest of the day if I don't. Get it. Now we have 7,000 shiny objects. Alright. Gotta be careful so that way it doesn't... do that. No. I, I thought it would break immediately if it doesn't hit the... Okay, I I was gonna say, like, why does it not, like, freezing? There's the hidden sock. Yeah, that happened earlier today when I threw stone tiki's at the uh, at the goo, but instead it landed on top of the checkpoint box. And then when I threw another one, it, it landed on that stone tiki that was on top of the checkpoint thing. Yeah, I wasn't really paying attention when throwing t stone tiki's at the beginning of the level. All right, before we end off the episode, I gotta do something here. That is a very long reach over there. First, I gotta get rid of this guy. Pick up the old watermelon. Throw it at that.
I didn't do it. I'm pretty sure that was all we had to do for the mission, so let's go check up on him. And by him, I mean his crabs. It's not exactly what I had in mind. I hope my insurance covers all this. Why don't you try something less expensive? Or, I mean, dangerous. I need them crazy robots cleared out of the bumper boats. When you've destroyed them all, come back and see me. But you told me that all I had to do was destroy the guy in the booth! Now you're telling me I gotta destroy those robots way over there? Dang it, Mr. Krabs. Ugh. Bang. Get out of here. Get out of here. Wait, I, I saw some funny thing right here. Let's go down here. Whee! Killjoy. Alright. I'm gonna end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeet! No! <laughs>